thing is, my lovely, wonderful people, not be smart, you know. Hey, EU uh, Commission has come out. The observers has blamed INEC chairman for vote vying and what happened during the election. They say, we well, say, INEC chairman, a gay hand puts. Not be only him, they still blame uh, politicians. They don't blame a lot of people. And the results be say, they go do what they call visa ban. So everybody and anybody who say don't get hand for this kind of thing, not go get itself, you go see itself to blame. So, so many matter now, they on ground. So my people, you they see what they happen, so you they see what they go on. Every single one of us must ensure, say, we stand up, we do what they right, and we not allow evil to continue in any way, form, or kind. So these are very, very, uh, you know, devastating you know, situation and what is going on right now requires that every single person, you know, rise up to the occasion and we do not allow the same thing over and over again. Nigeria needs help. We need to rise up and we need to ensure that things are done decently and in order. So this is what is going on right about now. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. EU observers blame politicians, INEC, for vote buying, saying this is not acceptable. The European Union has knocked the Independent National Electoral Commission for failing to live up to the expectation in the electoral process of Nigeria. The Chief Observer EU Election Observer Mission, Barry Andrews, in his preliminary statement of the EU EOM on the governorship and House of Assembly election on Monday said, Nigerians hungry for democracy and we are ready to be involved in the country's democracy. But the appetite was lost due to failure of political elites and INEC to do the right thing. Andrews said throughout the mission, we saw that Nigerians have a great appetite for democracy, true democracy, and are ready to vote the candidate of their choice and are keen to engage in various civil activities. However, in many parts of the country, their expectations were not met. Many were disappointed and, were, and they met weakness voters' appetite that was part of a clear conspiracy work that did not allow the unfortunate people to experience true democracy. Political elite and unfortunately INEC was part of this mishap, which has caused a lot of pain and devastation on the people. INEC chairman promised the international community a lot, but did not live up to expectation. This is a shame and we're expecting more. We expected more from him because he promised to deliver. However, he did none of this. So my wonderful people, every single one of us can see that indeed Nigeria have not um, have not truly really experienced, you know, some of the opportunity for true democracy. Okay, we have not experienced it. Those who we thought will help us get there have done other things. Those who we depended upon and we think will stand up to the occasion and will do what was right and needed they rather did their own thing many of them you know had other issues at heart and so it is interesting to know that unless we begin to rise up and ensure that we do not allow the people who wants to destroy this nation to continue on their track you see this is this is another country altogether saying that INEC did not do well you know so INEC did not do well so when you look at the whole issue and situation, you can be sure, you know, of what is going on. You can be very shocked of what is going on. So it is a matter of urgent attention. Remember that every single one of us must do what is going on, must do the right thing. Nigeria needs to change. Okay? Nigeria needs to change and we need to ensure that we do not allow the same thing. Okay? This country needs a re-overhauling and then we need to wake up to the reality that our democracy, you know, is at, is at stake. Our democracy is seriously at stake, you know. So it is it is a serious uh, matter of uh, concern 
that those we really uh, depended upon to rise up to the occasion are rather engaged in other activities. Okay, they are engaged in other activities and they are doing other things that ought not to be done. Nigerians, the days upon us now have become so clear. And so it is important. It is important that we rise up to the occasion and we do everything needed and necessary to change the course of what is happening today. Anyway, Nigerians, uh, we cannot uh, fold our arms, keep quiet and pretend that all is going well. Every single one of us have got a part, a serious duty to play in order to bring Nigeria to a desired destination and position. Yet truth is our watchword. Yet honesty is our, is our, is our logo. Okay? Is our logo. We need to rise up. Okay? We need to rise up. And so every single one of us, you know, must ensure that we, we are, uh, you know, embrace democracy. Because democracy speaks of the people. It speaks of what the people want. Okay? It speaks of what the people really want to see. The people are rising up and they are voting for, you know, the candidate of their choice. That's democracy. You know, that's democracy. People are rising up and they're doing what they need to do. Okay? So this is what is happening. This is what is going on now. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, uh, we we must not allow the same thing over and over again. Uh, one of the things that Nigeria has suffered in no small way is bad leadership. It has not allowed us to move forward. You know, people who are hell bent on destroying on destroying the nation, people who are hell bent on ensuring that the nation remain in a particular position so that they can continue to benefit, you know, from the disorganization in the nation. Okay, it, 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 it is very, very unfortunate that this is what we are experiencing. Okay, it is very, very unfortunate. Okay, anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, remember that every single one of us, okay, we must, we must arise to the opportunity we have to make a lot of difference or we might not truly, you know, uh, change the course of what has gone on, you know, in the last couple of days and hours. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now. Have a good day. Bye-bye.